1960 earthquakes strike Yellowstone, scientists warn supervolcano may blow. An unusually large number of powerful earthquakes have struck Yellowstone in the last 48 hours, causing scientists to fear that the supervolcano was about to erupt. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, over 60 earthquakes struck the area, with magnitudes of up to 5.0 on Friday. Scientists have warned that the supervolcano, which is long overdue for an eruption, may be about to blow, which would wipe out large numbers of human, animal and plant life across America. Intellihub.com reports, scientists currently believe that there's a 10% chance that a supervolcanic Category 7 eruption could take place this century, as pointed out by theoretical physicist Michio Koku who appeared on a segment for Fox News. The gray-haired physicist told Shepard Smith that the danger we are now facing with the caldera is that it's long overdue for an eruption which Koku said could rip the guts out of the USA. Koku said that a pocket of lava located under the park has turned out to be twice as big as scientists originally thought. Scientists concur that the last eruption of the caldera took place some 640,000 years ago. The U.S. is currently under contract with at least four countries all of which have agreed to house displaced U.S. citizens in the unfortunate event the Yellowstone supervolcano were to erupt. Hundreds of billions of dollars were paid to foreign governments to facilitate the agreement which spans a 10-year period from its signing, ending in 2024. An excerpt from an article I authored in April of 2014 titled, Report. Brazil, Argentina and Australia signed contracts worth hundreds of billions of dollars to house displaced U.S. populace when Yellowstone supervolcano erupts reads. The U.S. plan for relocation was formulated after a recent scientific analysis of the park revealed that Yellowstone's supervolcano has the potential to violently erupt within the next 10 years as noted by others including the famous astrophysicist Michio Koku. In fact, Prague a Pakistani publication, recently reported. It may take up to 10 years for pressure and the magma chamber of the supervolcano to build. According to Dr. Jean Philippe Perel at the National Center for Scientific Research in Grenoble, France, it is the difference in density between the molten magma in the caldera and the surrounding rock big enough for the magma from the chamber to the surface to increase. The effect is the same as the extra buoyancy of a soccer ball under water fill with air, after which it rises to the surface because the surrounding water poet, said Dr. Perlat. If the magma volume is large enough, it should go to the surface to rise and explode like a champagne bottle that on Kirkby. According to Dr. Seifel Mathet, the South African government's sympathy for the American challenge, challenge, to Yellowstone, but we have our own challenges in South Africa. There are 200 million white people in America, and if too many of them to South Africa flights, it is a big problem, even though there is enough housing and infrastructure available. It will destabilize the country and may even bring back apartheid. South Africa is not for sale. However, according to the report, Brazil, Argentina and Australia jumped on the bandwagon, accepting the request from Washington. The calm before the storm started a few weeks back when researchers noticed a downtick in seismic activity before Friday's swarm struck. Earthquake expert Dutchsons chimed on Yellowstone in a video posted to YouTube on June 15, one day before the swarm occurred, to warn of future activity in the region. The region, 